All right then, so now we're working with a few different components. We're working with states and props and functions. I thought this would be a good time to have a little recap and talk about what we've been doing over the last few lessons and touch on the virtual DOM again. So at the minute, our application structure looks like this. We have the app.js component, the container component, which is the root component sitting at the top. And in here, we define a state with a ninjas property, which is an array of ninjas. Now that array of ninjas is passed down as a prop into this component right here, ninjas.js. And this is a UI component. And the job of this UI component is to cycle through these ninjas, which are passed down as a prop and output them to the DOM with a bit of template for each individual ninja. Now, if we ever want to add a ninja, we do it via this class-based component over here. We enter into the form and we fire the function which is passed down to this component as a prop from app.js. So when we invoke this function, it takes the new ninja, passes it back up here, and it adds that new ninja to the ninjas array on the state inside this container component. Now, when the state changes of the ninjas over here, the ninjas prop is gonna update, which is passed down to this component. And whenever the props update inside a component, it's gonna re-render the template because it needs to. So we get the updated ninjas here and we re-render the template based on that new data. And the same is true for if we ever want to delete a ninja. Remember, we pass down this function, delete ninja, from this component to this component so we can invoke it from here. We pass up the ID of the ninja we want to delete and inside here, inside that delete ninja function, we filter through the ninja's array on the state and remove that ninja, thereby updating the state thereby updating the prop again down here, thereby updating the template to reflect that change in the ninjas prop. So this whole cycle is going on all the time when we're deleting ninjas and adding ninjas. But how is all this updating working behind the scenes? Well, that's down to the virtual DOM. So we have our ninjas component constantly updating because we're constantly receiving different versions of the props when ninjas are removed, or added to the state of the root component. So we're constantly getting those new props and every time we get those new props, we're wanting to update the JSX template dependent on that data so we can output it to the browser. So every time we get an update, we take that updated JSX template and React makes a virtual DOM out of it, which is a JavaScript representation of the template. Now, at all times, it has a current virtual DOM running in the background, and that represents the actual DOM, which is sitting in the browser currently. Now, when we create a new virtual DOM over here based on the changes in data, that new virtual DOM is compared to the current virtual DOM, which reflects what's in the browser. And where there are changes in the template, those differences are updated in the browser. So only those differences need to be re-rendered to the browser. We don't have to re-render the whole application or anything like that. Just those changes in the new virtual DOM based on these changes and the current virtual DOM. And this cycle happens every time there is a change in data. So once we've done it once, the new virtual DOM over here becomes the current virtual DOM because then that now reflects what's in the browser. And then when we update again, we get another version of the virtual DOM, the changes are compared and the differences are updated in the DOM. So I thought I'd just recap there to go over what we've been doing so far and how it's all fitting together and what's going on in the background with the virtual DOM to update on the screen every time we make a change in the data.